This is the screen when you first start Talk Tablet. You'll see it's a grid here, and we call this grid a page, and each of these squares on the grid we call a button. So a grid is full of buttons on a page, we'll call it. So if you look here, we have buttons that can speak or say a phrase. They have uh, pictures on them. They also have text on them, and you can edit all of those. At the very top, though, this is called our message bar. As we select a button, for example, yes, you will hear it spoken, and it will pop up here on the message bar. So you can string together multiple words or phrases together, and it will speak it in a sentence. No. So it's put the yes and the no at the top here. And if I touch on the message bar, yes, no, it will combine those into a sentence. Over in the top right hand corner here, we have a backspace button. By the way, we have a clear button here. You can put these buttons on a page if you want them. Everything's editable. For example, if I yes. have no. a word or phrase up here, if I press and hold the backspace button, it will delete the whole sentence bar. The top right here, we have the option of printing um, the text out onto a printer, and it will not print printing. It will not print the page. It will print what's on here. Uh, coming down, we have our main menu, and we have a settings button, which we'll talk about momentarily. But first, now let's talk about the buttons. There's two types of buttons: a button that says something, yes, and a button that opens a new page of choices. In my home which we call a page button. Now let me go back, top left-hand corner, there's a back button here. Again, this is a button. Yes. And a page button is one that opens a new page of choices. Weather. Okay. And then I could say. It is hot. And if I touch on the sentence bar or the message bar, this is what happens. Yes, it is hot. Pretty simple. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. I'll clear this out, or I can press and hold that button. Does the same thing. Let's talk about editing buttons. So let's, at the very top here, there's an edit. We touch on edit, and you'll notice that every button changes a little bit. In the top left-hand corner is a black X. In the bottom right-hand corner is a white star in a blue circle. The X, if you touch that, it will delete that button. It will be gone, so be careful. The bottom right-hand corner, sometimes people like a button to be invisible or dimmed so that the person using it can see the choice but isn't able to select it quite yet. So let me give you an example with the Yes button here. I'm going to press on this star. Now it's invisible. I'll press here again on that spot. Now it's dimmed, and now if I pop out of here and say done, you'll notice when I touch on it, nothing happens. It's dimmed, and you might find that helpful to have some of the buttons dimmed that aren't usable to make things really simple so they focus on the ones that are visible. And to take that back and make it visible, I hit edit, top bottom right-hand corner, touch that button, and you'll see the, how that works. It goes from visible to invisible, dimmed, back to visible. Okay, let's suppose we'd like to edit a button. Now let's go into About Me. About Me. And I'd like to change this button here to say I am 30 years old, we'll say. I touch Edit at the top. I'm going to touch on this button. Edit, Delete, Copy. We're going to hit Edit button. And you'll see the label says age. You see it up here? And text to speak is age. So those can be two different things. You could have it as the label at age, but the text to speak, let's change that. Using the on screen key keyboard. We'll see, I'm 18 years old. Okay, now here is where we can add a new picture. We can add a, some music to it if we wanted to. This is where we can change the picture. Um, the symbol, this is really important. I can select the symbol and there's 30,000 symbol sticks communication images that are built into TalkTablet Pro and you can find them 
by just touching in here and searching for it. And I'll say uh, birthday. And the symbols that represent birthday will pop up. Again, there's 30,000 to choose from, but they all come up very quickly. So I'm going to change it to this one here. Okay, so it says, the label says age. That's what appears on the button. I am 18 years old is what has spoken, the text to speak. And then um, under the symbol, I've chosen the, that one. Now look at my other options. I'm gonna come back here for a moment. Select from library means selecting a photograph that's on this iPad. I can do that. I can, here's take a photo. I can take a photo and that will go on to the button using the camera that's on the iPad or the iPhone. Uh, also, which is really cool, I have a built-in link to the Google Images library, which has millions of millions and millions of things. So I could say, um, I'll say teenager. I'll see if I can find an image for 18 year olds or whatever. You give it a moment, it's searching and you will see it populate. There we go. This is directly to Google Images. So you don't even have to leave TalkTablet to bring up an image. And I'm going to choose uh, this fella here. And now I can change other things here. They can change the background color, the color of the border, the size of the font. Um, I'll make it bigger, the font. I will make the button text color, the background color. I'm gonna make it a, a light gray. Just make it kind of a gray color. Yeah, that's the one. And um, there's other things, fonts, bold, italic. I'll make it bold. And then when I'm finished, I press done at the top. There it is. And I hit done one more time at the top. And if I touch on him. I am 18 years old. That's how easy it is to edit a button. So again, if you want to change or edit a button, touch edit, touch in the middle of the button that you want to change. And then you can go into edit button. And just like I did a moment ago, you can give it a label, text to speak, you can give it a symbol, you can change the color of the background, the border, the fonts, that sort of thing. When you're finished, you press done, done, and you have a new button.